What's up guys, Dustin here, Adam Offroad. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be covering the Vitomin Flash Speed 1500 Power Station. Key features that really stood out to me with this power station is that it can charge from 0% all the way up to 100% in an hour. And we're gonna be testing that at the end of this video. So you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned for that, all of the specs and everything that comes along with it. Let's get it out of the box. All right, so opening the box, we have the user manual. Good to keep that in hand. And we got some pretty cool stickers. Looks like they've taken some time to nicely package everything. The box is really elegant. And then, um, yeah, we've got this box here. I think it's, just the charging cables. Go ahead and pull whatever's out of here. These are your uh, DC to your cigarette socket for charging. We also have a power supply for the wall. Really nice. And then we've also got some charging cables for cell phones and things like that. These are the C type cables. Very nice. It's a pretty neat thing when they include all of that for you. They kind of really thought about that. So the packaging looks good. All right, so we've got this unit out of the box and my first impressions are, wow, this thing is built very nice. It's got a really good construction. I really like how it's a flat top because it's portable, definitely. Um, just the feeling of the plastic, everything feels really good in quality. On the back, you've got some lights here where you can push this button and it gets brighter as you continue to push it. And then you got one that's flashing. I can definitely see this being super useful. We've got some ventilation on the side here. And on this side, we have another opening for air ventilation. Most likely there'll be a fan on either or side. So one side will be an intake and one side will be an exhaust. That way you can get some air that can pass through the battery to help cool things down. This is the model number PB-58 Vitomin 1500 flash speed power station and it is looking really awesome very beautiful unit and the top also has a storage compartment where you can store all the cables that you need readily accessible you don't have to look around or have them stored somewhere else i really like that feature and design in this power generator now starting off on our upper left hand corner we have some ac inputs that's going to be to charge the unit and then you can use this dc 12 volt input um, rated for 10 amps to charge the unit as well in your car that's going to take you know your average eight to ten hours to completely charge from zero to 100 percent but you still have the option if you needed to use a 12 volt source as well as your solar input of 400 watts max you have the really nice anderson pole connection there so it can also generate the power from a solar panel which is very handy especially if you're out camping or out in the woods you know spending a week or two you need to get power back into this unit you have that option with a solar panel you have this dc button we'll go ahead and turn that on wake it up and you can see the screen illuminated we're at 87 percent charge out of the box zero watts and it's saying that the dc is on dc output these are both rated for 10 amps and then you have your nifty cigarette lighter socket which is also rated at 12 volts 10 amps and then over here which is really cool you have your two usb c outputs this is going to be very handy if you're charging your laptop or you're having um, some lights that you need to plug in to charge these are both going to be rated at 100 watts when you push this button you can turn on the type c's output and the usb you have four usb a's these three here are going to be rated at your 12 watts and then you have a quick charge option which is rated at 18 watts very nice to have that i'll go ahead and turn these off so what's really impressive about this ac inverter type power station is it has three ac receptacles rated at 110 volts and each boasts a 1500 watt output with a 3k surge so what that means is it can handle motor and compressor type loads where there's an initial inrush in current and then it kind of mellows out sort of like a refrigerator in your home if you have a power outage or you expect some kind of power outage you can have this plugged in and it will keep your refrigerator running to help reduce your food from going to waste or you can also have this plugged into a chest style refrigerator if you're camping or some kind of compressor 
any type of motor loads within the rated output. So another feature I spotted here was it actually has the capability of jump starting your car. It's actually going to provide enough amps to start the engine up. Now the cable did not come with this unit. You'll actually have to buy that separately. I'll leave a part number in the description box below, but it can jump your vehicle. Another thing over here on the right of that one is another connector where you can actually double the battery capacity of this and expand the battery with a whole nother battery. So this power station has about 1500 and 48 watts of storage capacity and using this you can expand that storage capacity out to 3096 so you've got a lot of power and some options especially if you want to expand the power of this unit so it's also got a really nice screen as you can see we've been pushing these buttons and it shows you all the information that you're going to need this unit also has a ups function which if you have it plugged into the wall and there's a power outage um, it will within 20 milliseconds continue to output the power to like a CPAP machine or some kind of device that needs to continue to stay on it has that battery ups capability so that feature is going to be really nice to have one other spec that it has that I'm really eager to test out in this video is that it can charge from zero to hundred percent in one hour so right now we're at 87 percent what i'm going to do is plug it into the wall bring it back up to a hundred percent now with it plugged in we should initiate the charge cycle i just heard a relay kick on so i'm going to let this charge up you can see the watts start to pull up we're already at 1080 and then there you have the fan just turned on so this thing will generate some heat while charging so i just wanted to let you guys see that so for something that's 1,548 watts of storage and you can charge it within 0% to 100% in an hour, that is really, really impressive. Now this battery type is a lithium phosphate chemical type battery and those are usually um, really good as far as charge cycles. They last about 3,000 charge cycles. So bringing it from 100% all the way to zero and then back up to, to the top charge of 100% is considered one cycle. So if you did that every day, you can do that for eight years and this battery would still be good up to an 80% efficiency. So these batteries last a very long time and we know that you're not gonna be discharging and charging it every day like that. So they'll probably even last a lot longer. Now, before I begin to totally discharge this power station from 100% all the way down to zero, I did want to mention that Vitoman has been dedicated in the safety and the stability of their batteries, and they've implemented a BMS or Super Safe Life BMS battery management system. Now, that system is integrated with 10 modes of protection, and with that, we should be able to feel safe plugging in devices and walking away. So tonight I'm going to be cooking up a whole chicken with my crock pot. It pulls about 400 watts and then I'm going to walk away from it. We'll come back and we'll see what the wattage is and how much it consumed. And if we need to, we'll, we'll kill it some more. That's not a problem. I've got a miter saw or a chop saw we can plug into it. And then uh, we'll test the theory from the 0% to 100% in charging in one hour. So that's totally impressive to me. And by the end of the video, I definitely wanna see the end of these results. So I'm gonna get this all ready and get it plugged in, let's do it. All right, so I've got everything set up, four and a half pound whole chicken in the crock pot. And I'm getting ready to put the lid on that. And I've got the power station, we'll go ahead and wake that thing up. It's 100%, hold it down, turn on the AC receptacle. AC, plug it in, and then we'll turn on the unit here on high. And as you can see, we've already started picking up watts, about 277 watts. This peaks out as, it's about 300 watt crock pot. So for a four and a half pound chicken, we'll get about four hours on high and that should be sufficient enough to cook this. So we'll be back in about four hours. So there it is, smelling delicious and looking delicious as well. Now the trick to get this looking so good is I used a blowtorch or a torch to kind of brown the top of this chicken and man, it just makes it 
looks so good and I'm about to enjoy that right now but first let's talk about the power consumption so I've had this sitting on here on warm for about an hour and we've cooked it on high for about four and a half hours so we've got about five and a half hours now we are sitting at about 50 just under 50 watts on warm so we've got four and a half hours on high just under 300 watts and then we have it on warm for an hour which is about just under 50 watts. And our battery capacity is right now sitting at 9% for about five and a half hours total. It just moved to 8%. So I think that's really good as far as cooking a whole chicken for about five and a half hours on 300 watts, not bad. And I'm ready to eat this. I'm gonna go enjoy this. I'll be back and we'll figure out another way to get this 8% capacity down to zero. All right, so I am back and let me tell you that chicken dinner was delicious. And since then, we've already dropped from 8% down to five. So I'm not sure what happened there, but we're at 5% and we're trying to get to zero. So I've got an easy way to do that. We know these older halogen shop lights are about 500 watts. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plug that in and we should see the wattage right now. Let me go ahead and move the light out of the way. And right then and there, we get about 485 watts. So I'm just gonna let that basically kill the battery. Now, these lithium ion batteries, they once they get to a certain battery voltage, they just completely shut off. So the battery management system should just shut this thing off. So there it goes, wow. So let me tell you, that was a long four minute 1% and it just turned off. As you can see, we are now at a 0% safely shutting itself down and now for the ultimate test i'm going to go ahead and plug in my clock there we go and then i'm going to set the hour for five and at six o'clock we will come back to this charger and it should be at a hundred percent go ahead and plug in the ac as you can see we are at zero capacity and we're gonna watch the watts start to climb. And the fan should kick on and everything. So we'll be back in an hour. This should be roughly six o'clock on the clock. You can already see it's starting to pull up. Fan just kicked on and we're cruising at about close to 1600 watts, which is about 14 amps. All right, we'll see you guys in back in an hour. All right, so we just got to 100% and the fans kicked off, but we are about four minutes late. Still really impressive. And I did want to mention that you can charge this power station with all three connected so not only from your car port the anderson power pole for the 400 watt panel all at the same time so that's really impressive it it's pretty much an hour just about four minutes late i'm going to turn you guys around and give you my final thoughts so there you guys have it it passed the charge test about four minutes late that's okay and i still think that that's quite impressive for a battery you know, having these charge capabilities is going to be a game changer. You're not waiting a whole day just to charge up your power station. You're, you just got one hour and you're on the go. So having that is going to be super practical and man, it looks great for a power station. And I think it's going to be a solid unit for anyone really who needs some serious power. So I absolutely love one of the features I actually really love is the UPS feature and just having 12 ports uh, for you know all of your powers that you'll ever really need. And on top of that, the unit comes with a 12 month warranty if you buy this unit through vitamin.com. It's also an option to purchase it on Amazon right now, directly through them. And both sites, the cost for this is around 749 bucks, depending on if you order all the accessories like the um, jump, jumper cables and the solar panel, you have some options there. So with that, man, I really appreciate you guys letting me share this power station with you. I had a lot of fun and I'll be using it, the flash speed 
on all my camping adventures. So look forward to seeing that in my camping videos. And as always, I hope to see you all out on the trail and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Thank you.